This is Windows 8. This tutorial is to help you install desktop programs on your SD card. If you have a Surface Pro or a similar device and it does not have enough C drive space, uh, such as this one, then you will definitely want to install your program somewhere else so that you can have enough working space on your faster C drive. Um, Surface Pro came in two forms. It came in the 64 gigabyte version and the 128 gigabyte version uh, and it's a fast SSD type deal so it's good but there may not be enough space if you have a 64 gigabyte uh, model so what you're going to want is you're going to want an SD card um, I think they make 64 gig uh, micro SD cards uh, you can get like a fast version I think a class 10 or something stick those into your tablet and you will have a lot of you will have double the space pretty much if you have like the 64 gig and that's my plan though I haven't been able to do that just yet so what I have here is a 16 gig or in reality 14 gig the, uh, the the goal is to get programs that refuse to install on this to install on this so for now what I have is uh, let's try to get Evernote to install on the SD card and we'll see what it says. So we're going to accept the license agreement and click advanced which will allow us to pick the directory. Seems simple enough, right? Just change the drive letter. Alright, so you do that and hit next. Uh-oh. The installation directory must be on the local hard drive. Oh no. Well, I guess that shuts us down. Not so fast. Here's what you can do. And this is kind of complicated, so let's keep it up. Let's keep up and uh, you'll be fine. It's not really that bad. Uh, Alright. So in order to change that, I have this other hard drive here. It's a portable hard drive and it's got a lot of space uh, 232 gigs well a lot of space comparatively and what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the drive letter temporarily so you're going to click up here see this is a file it's already there by default you go to manage storage, disk management, and then we'll go with the disk management stuff. This is actually a pretty cool uh, little applet here. It's been part of Windows for as long as I can remember it being there. I guess Windows XP, uh, you can create partitions, resize partitions. It's pretty handy. Uh, but that's not what we're here to do. We're here to do something very simple. Alright, here's a removable drive. You know, this is drive D. This is where I want to install stuff. Here's my portable drive. It's drive E. I'm going to change this drive letter. Actually, I'm going to change this drive letter first. So, we're going to click on D, right click on it, or if you have your tablet, uh, which is what this tutorial is for, though it'll work for anything, uh, you uh, hold it down and you get this option here and uh, I'm going to change the drive letter. Do not format drive letter. Not format. Okay. So we're going to change it to some letter we don't care about. Yes. Yes. It warn you about doing that, but ignore the warnings. Just click OK. Uh, talk about breaking apps, but you really don't break them. You just move them around in different drive letters and Windows doesn't really expect you to do that. Uh, so, as long as you're consistent with it, you don't have any issues. So, here's the uh, portable drive. We are going to change the drive vector to D. Uh, 
Okay, we've done that. Now let's go back to our program. Note. Oh, I already have the setup running. Okay, let's close that. And start over. Advanced. Next. Change the drive letter. This has also worked for other installers, so I think the only issue is that uh, it's a removable drive and not a portable hard drive, it will have problems, or at least it will stop you. But it's really not any different. Uh, I mean, you're going to remove your portable hard drive just as easily as you would your SD card. So I don't know why they do that. Um, I really would like like it if Microsoft would stop and let you install your programs like, you know, your portable hard drive, but they don't, so this is what we have to do. So you saw that it installed just fine, and I'll show you where it is. Ah, it's, it started. I'm not going to log in. Okay. So here it is. Under Evernote. So there's your uh, stuff in the directory. And now all we got to do is change it back. Oh yeah, and copy it over. Let's copy it over first. So we're going to go in here. And we're going to... Hold on. I don't want to do that. There we go. I'm going to remove it. So I'm going to cut. And I'm going to bring it over to my SD card. Uh, I think it was in here. I'm going to paste. So now we're just waiting for it to copy, and you can see how slow this SD card is. That's not the fault of the tablet. That's the fault of the SD card. It was a cheap card. A faster card will be at least twice as fast as that, if not more so. Uh, the hard drive, I think, is at, at, on average three times as fast. So I'm not sure if it's a uh, if it's a uh, USB 3 hard drive or not. I don't think it is. Uh, so, if you have a USB 3 hard drive, it'll be even better. But that's off topic. Okay, so we have it on the SD card. Now it's, to change, now it's time to change it back. So, I'm going to change this back to its old letter, which was E. change this back to D. By the way, the pen on this tablet is awesome. Uh, it's good for drawing, but it's even better for, it, not better, but it's, it's also good for just using the interface, the old desktop interface. It, it, I, I couldn't, I couldn't see living without it. Uh, it's like having a mouse without actually, you know, carrying around a clutchy old mouse. But anyway, there's draft D. Like, okay, it'll warn you and stuff, but ignore it. Okay, so now things are back to normal. Here you see Evernote, it's in there. It's in there twice, I don't know why, but that's just the way it set it up. And now, disconnect the portable hard drive. Now it's disconnected. And I'm going to start it up. Then I started that up from the SD card. Which is right here. No problems. No issues works just fine. I'll log in later. I just wanted to show you that.
and you can do that for every program. Uh, it's a little annoying, but you're not going to be installing programs forever. You're just loading up the stuff you expect to use. And once it's there, it'll work. Uh, one benefit to using your SD card is when you upgrade, and you will, at least I will, you will, all you have to do is copy over your programs. You don't have to reinstall anything like you might have to do with a, uh, you know, main hard drive on a PC just to upgrade your hard drive. It's not like that. Uh, someday Microsoft hopefully will fix this issue and then you won't have to do that. Or even better, release something with more space than just 64 or 128 because with a 64 you only have, you know, it, when I opened the box, it was only 29 gigs free out of 50. Uh, so the ones we ate can't be that much better. It might be yeah, 80, 80 free gigs or something, which is fine, but just barely. Uh, but, you know, that's what happens when you're an early adopter. This is, the Surface is an entirely new kind of tablet. Um, it's the Surface Pro especially. It's not an Android tablet. It's not an iPad. Uh, it is the future of PCs uh, in that so-called post-PC world that that uh, that Steve Jobs was talking about. This was it. His iPad opened the doors, and hope and hopefully Apple will do something similar that Microsoft has done. Um, but I'm, I'm totally, totally positive that the future is a dockable tablet, essentially. Uh, a tablet that can convert itself from PC to a consumer, you know, entertainment tablet. They'll be able to do both equally well in their own contextual situations. You know, you can bring this to your office and work uh, with your keyboard and your mouse. You take it home and you know watch your videos you can go to a a coffee shop and you know just check your email before work whatever it is that you do it will do it just as well as any pc and just as well as any tablet and that's it that's my tutorial uh, that's all see you later